How's it going YouTube? If you enjoy my videos, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time that I post a new awesome video just like this one. For this video, I am in downtown Chicago, Illinois, the nation's third largest city. How's it going everyone? If you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload new and amazing content just like this video. Downtown Chicago is home to the United States' second largest collection of skyscrapers after New York and is currently the country's third largest city. In this video, I show you around downtown Chicago. <laughs> Chicago is a skyscraper mecca, being home to 116 buildings that are at least 500 feet tall. Chicago is actually the birthplace of the skyscraper, as in 1885, construction was completed on the home insurance building, which is regarded as the world's first. The building was 10 stories high and 138 feet tall, making it the world's tallest at the time. Today, the Willis Tower, formerly called the Sears Tower, is the city's highest as it rises 1,451 feet. It's also the third tallest in the U.S. in the 22nd and tallest in the world. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. Downtown Chicago has a population of 22,000 and hosts around 480,000 jobs, which means that downtown Chicago sees on average over 400,000 people commute to it daily. The Chicago Loop has an average daily ridership of just under 75,000. And now, I've looked up several lists of the most traffic congested U.S. cities, and every list that I've found has had Chicago in the top 10 somewhere. However, I've seen it come in 2nd place, 7th, 8th place, so who freaking knows, man? However, you can't say that Chicago isn't a city full of traffic jams, it most certainly is when given normal circumstances. Chicago Land has the third highest gross domestic product in the country after New York City and Los Angeles, and it's also currently the nation's third largest city and the third largest metro area. We'll just have to wait and see how long that lasts though, because right now we're seeing Texas cities growing rapidly in population while the Chicago area continues to shrink in population. On the left ahead is the Goodman Theater, founded in 1925 and is the oldest active nonprofit theater organization in Chicago. The theater moved to its current Dearborn Street location in the year 2000. Chicago is home to more than 200 small theater companies. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight because we all know that you didn't know that before.
Wacker Drive follows the Chicago River for its entirety and actually has a lower level underneath the street level. The lower level is used to get from point A to point B faster and your typical FedEx and other commercial truck deliveries. There's even a third level to this street on a short stretch. Chicago is world famous not only for the amount of skyscrapers that it holds, but also for the architecture that it's able to showcase through its many buildings and art displays. Streetscape architecture is another aspect to it, and you'll see some of the city's beautiful lakeside parks later in the video. On May 20th, 2019, Chicago elected the first openly gay African-American woman mayor of any major U.S. city, Lori Lightfoot. Expanding on that, in 1961, Illinois became the first U.S. state to decriminalize certain forms of homosexual activity. Chicago has also had a gay village district since the 1920s. The Old Town District and the Boys Town District are further north. Currently, we're in the River North District, a popular place to get plastered during a night out on the town. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. As you will see in many of my upcoming videos, Chicago is very different from the rest of Illinois. Much of Illinois and many of the cities located in the state are facing very harsh economic conditions even before the illness shut down the entire country's economy. Illinois sees the second highest property taxes in the country and that has contributed to the land of Lincoln being estimated to lose more people than any other state during the last decade. The divide between Chicagoland and the rest of the state is so great that Republicans wanted the state to be split into two at one point. That obviously won't happen, and that's been a common debate with a few other states in our country as well. Illinois is home to 12.6 million residents as of 2020, in which 8.5 million or so of the state's population lives in Chicagoland, which is largely Democratic. That's 67% of the state's population, and that makes it easy for the politicians to not put the best policies in place for the smaller and rural communities that make up most of the state's land area. It doesn't help that other nearby states such as Indiana, Wisconsin, and Missouri all offer better environments for home ownership and small businesses. This is the Magnificent Mile, which runs along Michigan Avenue. It's the main thoroughfare between Chicago's Loop Business District and its Gold Coast District. The Magnificent Mile features a mixture of upscale department stores, restaurants, luxury retailers, residential units, offices, and hotels. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight and subscribe to my channel for the amazing footage.
On the east side of Michigan Avenue, which is to the left, is Millennium Park, which opened in 2004 to celebrate the new third millennium. The land was previously occupied partially by parks, but also from Illinois Central Rail Yards and parking lots. Millennium Park has become the most popular tourist attraction in not only Chicago, but the entire Midwest and one of the top 10 in the United States, as the park sees 25 million annual visitors. On the east side of the road here is the Art Institute of Chicago. I am the still small voice, I am. I am beneath the noise, I am. I am the door that I when you can't see the way, call on me. When you can't stand the pain, call on me. I know that life can break your heart. Damn, it's so hard bringing you to your knees. So don't and call on me. Before I forget to mention this, just about every traditional major U.S. city that is not on the East Coast or the West Coast has lost population over the years. Chicago is no exception, as the population peaked in 1950 at 3.6 million. Today the city is home to 2.7 million, which is nearly a million less people from the 1950 peak. Now Grant Park is on the south side of Michigan Avenue, and just like Millennium Park, Grant Park is full of art sculptures and is a popular green space in the city. Straight ahead at the end of Roosevelt is the Shedd Aquarium.
From October 8th through October 10th in 1871, the Great Chicago Fire destroyed around four square miles of the city, killed 300, and left more than 100,000 residents homeless. The fire began southwest of the city center and destroyed 17,500 buildings. It doesn't stop there, as about 324,000 people were left homeless. Where we are right now is near the central portion of the spread of the fire, as it engulfed the areas of Chicago that we know today as the Near North Side, Magnificent Mile, Old Town, and Lincoln Park. The fire was spread so quickly mostly because of the building materials at the time that were used. From here throughout the rest of the video, I'll be driving through the area that was hit by the Great Chicago Fire.
The Gold Coast District is to the east, which is on the right, and is full of luxury high-rises. Despite many people leaving the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois, Chicago still remains to be one of America's greatest cities. Whether your love of Chicago originates from one of the sports teams, the Bears, White Sox, Cubs, Bulls, or Blackhawks, or you just love the vibe of all the architecture and skyscrapers, it's hard to imagine Chicago becoming a ghost town ever. The rest of Illinois? That's a different story. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload more videos on cities throughout the state of Illinois. And that's about it for this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Peace!